Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a quick video just to show you the different lace samples that I've bought. I bought them because lace that I find on normal wigs usually a bit too visible. I hate the way the neck just stands out. So I thought, let me buy some lace, let me dye it. Let, you know, I want to see the different types of lace. I want the one that's going to be the most invisible and that's what I'm going to use in Rem de la Creme hair. So have a look, let me know which ones are your favourites. I've already picked mine um, and yeah, stay tuned. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, make sure to subscribe. Rem de la Creme hair, the cream of the crop. So to start with, I'm going to go through the different lace one by one. The first clips are going to be of the lace using flash. This is lace number one. First clip is of it, transparent, how I bought it, undyed. This is the same lace dyed brown. You can barely even see the brown lace. Because it's a lighter density, it means it's much more delicate as well. So this lace is frankly tearing, so you have to be really careful with it. Yeah, you can see how thin that lace is, so definitely got to be careful with that one. see the brown lip because I'm struggling. Like that's that's melting into my skin. This is lace number three. This is bought from another company. They call this HD lace. Let's see how it matches. So we're starting off with the transparent lace. So it's been undyed. So I want to save you guys the trouble of having to tint the lace at home, tint it in tea and coffee and all that malarkey, don't worry about that, we got you. Okay, so this is lace number four. This one was bought from a place in China. And to be honest, this is my least favorite one of the bunch. You'll see for yourselves.
so now I'm going to go through the same samples with you but in daylight, so natural light. you got to be careful with it, because it will tear. I'd recommend this lace for maybe special occasions when you just need to look extra fleeky and you don't want no one to see that grid. So yeah. I won't be making full wigs or even lace fronts with that with this particular lace, but I will be making closures. That's just because I don't want people coming for my neck when the lace tears, because it is very delicate. This is lace number three from a different company. I think this one is good as well. I actually do really like this one. It's a bit stronger than the other one. And it's still got that invisibility as well. So yeah, thumbs up for this one. Now this one, I'm not gonna lie, I bought from AliExpress. I wanted to compare an AliExpress lace compared to lace from other companies that charge a lot more, because this was very cheap. The other ones were a lot more expensive. I wanted to compare the two to see how they vary, and I think the evidence is clear. I mean, this one isn't too bad, but I wouldn't say it's it's not that great. I mean, look, look at that. It's very it stands out very clear. So this is lace number five. This was actually bought from the same company that I got lace number three from. But lace number five is the HD version. The other one is the ultra thin version of this lace. So I picked two of the lace samples that I've showed you today. I dyed them and then I set them to the factories. And that's what they'll be using to make the different hair wigs with. Want to find out how I dyed the lace? Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.